footwell lights. Love the LED lights. That's very nice. Comes with a fridge. Nice little fridge. Got a little mini freezer right there. Like the little captain seats for the table. Not bad lighting. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Just checking out the lighting here. Still no amber light. Oh, there's the footwell. There, look at that. You got orange instead of red. Already got Thermal King pre installed for the APUs, the auxiliary power units. Shut that off. This table here slides out. Just grab a hold of it. I don't know if it locks in, but as you can see, it's going back and forth. There, you got to pull it out hard enough, it locks in. Lo and behold, you have yourself a cup holder, a little slot to put whatever you want in there. Uh, I wonder what that is. Oh, that's that right there is what allows you to lock it and unlock it. Let's see if it locks in a closed position. Nope, it doesn't. Looks like right here you can even recline the seat, so that's pretty slick. Got your own little ladder here. Just got a little handle here, I assume. Just gotta push it in, and then lo and behold. Out is your ladders. When we get to the other side, we'll check out the top cabin. It goes right to the floor. Seems pretty sturdy. Plenty of space up here. Smaller than a twin, but it does the job. Speakers are pretty good. Get back down. Mm. All right. Slatched in there. Got a little area for your microwave. Got a TV mount. It's pretty cool. It's even got a uh, 12 volt outlet right there. And it comes with a coaxial cable as well has its own antenna. Okay, we just overrided the shutdown. Plenty of space. You can bring your whole house on board. Got cubbies for days. It'd be nice if they had a little light in there. Just have to install your own. Just little stick on lights with the batteries. You got a seat adjustment right there as well. And uh, you've got another 12 volt outlet down there as you do over there as well. The whole bed just folds down. Uh, right here as you can see that's the whole outline of the bed let me increase the exposure for you this is not going to do much got three cup holders they are still keeping their little hook here if you want to put your keys or your trash bag or whatever there it says pull right here so you can pull on that to get to your fuses it's 
little pouch, put your magazine or whatever in. We can drive one, see how it goes. Very knowledgeable about what's going on. See how it lets me go. Yep, it still does. I was at a truck stop once and um, this uh, Sierra England truck, it was a Cascadia, a new series as well. And uh, anyways, brakes weren't set and the actual horn was going off to alert the driver. So I didn't know if the fact that the seat has a sensor in it, that when it noticed there wasn't weight on the, uh, weight on the seat and the, the tractor knob was still in, it, it wanted to alert the driver and anybody that, hey, it could possibly move. <laughs> Fresh from the factory. getting two trucks at a time I think we're gonna get a grand total of um, I would like to say a grand total of uh, 10 Cascadias we got at least 20 um, Volvos so it's not bad at all and then I'm gonna go and kill the power since it's gonna be sitting until who knows when once we start specking it out Get a look at that. Let me get a better angle for you. Daimler. I wish Chrysler was still with them. Chrysler made a big mistake when they went to Fiat, but money talks. We've got the flow below aerodynamic skirting, helps improve fuel economy. We are still running super singles. And in my last video with the Volvos, the drivers have spoken and they have listened. We've now got dual interlocking axles. And as usual, we have disc brakes, which is really nice. She's a virgin. There's only 700 miles on it. She's uh, got a long life ahead of her. Either we put the uh, APU on ourselves, or it already got installed before we got the truck. Usually we install the stuff ourselves to save the uh, cost of labor. Shiny old fuel tanks. I like how they got them right in the back now. It's the way it should have been instead of having it midway in the cab. Brand new. You can't beat it. I even like the LED utility lights. That's pretty nice. You got four lights. Four little SMDs per uh, housing. One thing I could care less for is the low skirting that they have. If you look right here, that skirt, the bumper, isn't even a half inch from touching the ground. So that's just the way it is. Not one of their best designs in my opinion even though they're trying to get fuel economy half the time those get ripped off so that's what it is anyways hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching